What's going on guys, it's Jig Dubs, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how I get the best stream quality out of my Xbox and Elgato HD60 on OBS Studio. All right, so first thing is, I am showing you an example from an Xbox and OBS Studio, but the every setting that I'm explaining to you in this video should be similar on a PlayStation or Streamlabs OBS because all I'm showing you are quality settings and they go hand in hand across those pl those platforms and programs. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into the settings of your console and make sure that the TV and display options match the input from your Xbox and your TV or monitor. Now, obviously I recommend playing on a monitor and not a TV, but you know, you work with whatever you have. So the reason why you need to make sure your settings match up is because if you're running your TV at, you know, a refresh rate that doesn't match the game you're playing, there's going to be input lag and you don't want any of that. So the game that, you know, most games on Xbox are 60 hertz and I run 720p because it's harder to watch 1080p on a Twitch stream on w mobile data. It's just a lot easier for most people to access a 720p stream versus a 1080. And also my computer can't handle 1080p and 60 frames per second. And I would prefer to have 60 frames per second over 30. Okay, now that you've made sure that your TV and display options all match up with your console and your TV from the console, and also make sure that your TV is set to the best settings possible, but I can't show you that because, you know, everybody has a different TV and monitor, but that should be pretty simple to do. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is pull up the driver for your Elgato. And to do that, you go right here and you're gonna open up properties. And like I said before, you do the same thing for this on Streamlabs. You click on it on the Elgato and the sources right here, it's set up exactly the same and you open up the properties. And then you're going to go to configure video. And it'll pull up a window that should look like this. You want to make sure you have the right input device. I don't have analog audio on. Um, I don't really know what that does. So I'm not going to lie to you. I have the standard HDMI color range because uh, I just feel like expanded would make it run slower. It looks just fine how it is. So I just keep it right there. And here's the important part. Profile, HD 720, allow 60 FPS, right? To match up with the settings on the console. Because if you have, if you have this set to 1080, but you have your Xbox set to 720, you are going to be lagging you don't want that and i have both of these unchecked you don't need that uh you don't you don't want your audio on the elgato all the way up that's going to de decrease the quality and once you've done all of this you're going to want to make sure that these settings right here also match up with that resolution fp fps type custom i have it set as custom so i can make sure I mean, you can put it as de device default, but I like to make sure that everything is set where I want it by doing custom. And that just opens up these settings right here. If you put it at device default, then it's just going to be on the settings that are on the driver already. While my stream is la while my video feed of my Elgato is lagging right here, that's just because I have a slow computer and I'm attempting to record a YouTube video with display multiple sources running on my program that's the only reason this is uh choppy but i will provide an example video at the end of the tutorial and finally the last thing you're going to want to do is 
align your OBS studio settings with your Elgato and Xbox and TV settings to make sure they all line up as well as some other settings which I will show you none of this really matters for what for our purposes obviously you want to stream to Twitch Here is one of the important parts, video bitrate. Now you can run a bitrate test with OBS Studio, but what is recommended for HD is I think somewhere between four and 6,000. And my computer runs just fine at 6,000, so I keep it at 6,000. But you can run a test, you can Google your hardware on Google and see what kind of bitrate you need for your quality settings. But you need to make sure that this number is an accurate reflection of the capabilities of your computer. Audio bitrate, that's, uh, you know, that's audio. We're not really talking about that. We're talking about video, but I just have it as uh, the default. Um, I'll probably get into this later because my mic is crap, but we'll talk about that another day. Audio, that's not re really what we're here for. None of this is gonna, none, none of this is really gonna affect your uh, Elgato video quality. Right here, you need to make sure that all of these settings match. I can't change it right now because I'm recording this video with OBS, but you can see here 128720. 128720. Okay, you need to make sure they all line up or you'll have input lag and you don't want that. If they all line up, then your stream and your video feed will be smooth. If they don't line up, then it's going to be choppy, you're going to stutter, your game will lag, you don't want that. Downscale scale filter downscale filter. You're going to want this at the highest setting possible. But you can decrease it if you feel that your computer runs a little better with it lower. But this one is, is the highest setting you can have. My computer seems to run just fine. So that's what I have it at. And that's really about it. All you need to do is make sure that your settings are at, you know, 720p, 60 frames per second on all the settings. You need to make sure they all line up, just like I showed you, to decrease input lag and have a high quality stream for people to watch and enjoy. I hope that this information has been useful to you and you use it to have a fantastic stream. So I don't know, go out there and go live. Okay.